Today, we celebrate the first day of the 18-day campaign to end violence against women until December 12, 2021. Let us begin this virtual fellowship to uphold women's rights to achieve their full potential. Together, let us uplift the role of women as we pay tribute to the courageous women of history. And now, let us give pride and honor as we sing the Pabansang Awit to be followed by invoking the Divine Presence. Noon pa man, malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. Kaisa sila sa marubdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. Kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtukla sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kabahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa bayan. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. As we observe the 18-day campaign to end violence against women or vow from November 25th to December 12th, we ask you, Lord, to look with kindness upon all of us who are gathered here. Fill our hearts and minds with love, wisdom, and courage as we face our daily lives. We pray for all women and girls who suffer from domestic violence, rape, incest, sexual harassment, trafficking, prostitution, and other forms of violence. May they have the courage to break their silence, find protection, healing, and justice. We pray for the perpetrators of vow that they may learn to respect women and girls and stop the violence. O loving father and mother, send us your spirit so that everything that we do will be done with love and respect for our fellow humans. Regardless of age, sex, class, ethnicity, and ability, O powerful God, develop in us a high regard for the thoughts, feelings, and experiences of everyone and bestow on us the capacity to promote protect and fulfill the rights of women and girls. Almighty Creator, grant us the strength to stand up against all forms of violence happening to women and girls, the sharpness to recognize a silenced victim of vow, the courage to speak up against vow, the resourcefulness to help a victim of vow, and the resolve to never commit any form of vow. For all of this, we implore your guidance. Amen. To welcome us in our opening message is the passionate gender advocate, gender and development focal person of Palawan State University, Director Genoviva S. Gabo. Malugad na pagbati at pasasalamat mula sa PSU Gender and Development Office. 
at sa pakiisa ninyo sa unang araw ng 2021 18-day campaign to end violence against women. Sa pangunguna ni PSU President Dr. Ramon M. Docto, ever gender responsive advocate, the vice presidents, the college deans of the main and external campus operations in Panawan North and South. Dear students, faculty, and staff ng ating pamantasan ng mga estudyanteng numero uno, isang masigabong virtual club para sa lahat. The Philippine Commission on Women is leading us in the 2021 18-day campaign to end violence against women that spotlight on RA-113-13 or the Safe Spaces Act to raise awareness of the general public and the institutions that are mandated to implement the law. All government agencies and local government units including the private sector, are enjoined to align their campaign activities with this general objective. Yes, to promote awareness about the Safe Spaces Act. Today, 25th Thursday, we are one in the launching of the Let's Make a Safe Space Ground campaign, hashtag SANA, all spaces safe. The theme of violence against women violates human rights and continues to be one of the country's perennial social problems. It manifests and perpetuates discrimination and gender inequality. VOW violates the fundamental right of women to live a life free from violence. And VOW also affects women and girls' general well-being, leaving long-term physical, psychological, sexual and mental consequences, thus hampering women from achieving their full potential. In 2016, the Interagency Council on Violence Against Women, or IAC vow -C, adopted the theme, Vow-Free Community Starts With Me, for the 18-day campaign to end vow every year from 2016 to 2021. The Orange Your Icon Advocacy Initiative allows government offices to color its major landmarks or icons with orange. Why? To attract and spark public curiosity, to provide opportunities to explain and to declare their support to the anti-vow advocacy and for disseminating the message of zero tolerance for vow. It is with heartfelt appeal my shared prayer that we unite in marching forward to uphold women's rights for women and the girl child to achieve their full potential. Together, let us uplift the role of women. Learn more about this year's campaign and head over to the PCW website now on your screen. Muli, hashtag VowFreePH Hashtag Filipino Marespeto Hashtag Safe Spaces Kasali Tayo Mabuhay ang Palawan State University We shall now hear the 18-day campaign and vow message of our gender-responsive and gendered university president and none other than Dr. Ramon M. Docto Mapagpala at magandang araw sa pakikiisa Sa unang araw ng 2021 18-day campaign to end violence against women. Together with the vice presidents and other admin and academic council officials in the main and external campus operations in Palawan and North and South, their students, faculty, and staff ng ating pamantasan ng mga estudyanteng numero uno. We joined the Philippine Commission on Women in leading us in the 2021 18-day campaign to end violence against women that spotlight RA-11313 or the Safe Spaces Act with the slogan, Filipino Marespeto, Safe Spaces Kasali Tayo. It aims to raise awareness 
for us and the institutions mandated to implement the law. All government agencies and LGUs, including the private sector, are joined to align their campaign activities to promote awareness about the Safe Spaces Act. Let's make this a safe space ground campaign. Hashtag Sana All Spaces Safe. Since 2016, the Interagency Council on Violence Against Women adopted the theme Vow Free Community Starts With Me for the 18 day campaign to end Vow every year from 2016. To the present. Amidst this pandemic and adjustments made to IATF protocols, Palawan State University has and will continue its gender mainstreaming as an educational institution in support of the end. Hashtag InVow campaign. Here is the Orange Your Icon Advocacy Initiative in which government offices to color its major landmarks or icons with orange to attract public's curiosity to explain and to declare their support to the anti-vow advocacy and for disseminating the message of zero tolerance for vow that is the PSU landmark and other buildings will also be lighted in orange to encourage everyone to commit to ensuring safe spaces for all in any way possible. For educational and training institutions like PSU, recognize the need to instill the value of respect in educational and training institutions. We want our students and teachers to feel safe whether classes are held face to face or online. Thus, we are educating everyone in the academy as to the core provisions of the Safe Spaces Act. We are also establishing mechanisms to prevent and address gender-based sexual harassment in the academy. Officials of agencies, students, employees, and anyone can share their hashtag safe spaces pleads bowing to their part in making all space safe through actions as public servants private institutions or as individual PSU offers CHED CMO of gender and society as an elective course in the degree programs the office of student affairs and services to conduct the Spoken Poetry Speech Squire Contest. Display of official campaign, tarp, pictures, and videos on the PSU LED screen. Orientation on SSA and GBV advocacy, especially for their clients. Playing or showing of PCW produced videos infomercials on VOW and SSA in classes or shared on social media by the PSU community initiated by the God Office. Let us unite in upholding women's right to achieve their full potential. Together, let us uplift the role of women in celebration of the 18th day campaign to end violence with the hashtag vow free PS, hashtag Filipino Marespeto and hashtag safe spaces kasali tayo mabuhay ang Palawan State University let us hear the basics of gender-based violence against women from the Gender and Development Office Coordinator Ms. Diane Arsenas Hello, magandang araw. Ako po si Dian sa Gender and Development Office. 
Nagsisimula ang kalintasan at pagmamahalan sa tahanan. Pero hindi lahat ng tahanan ay ligtas. Karaniwan, mga babae, patang babae, miyembro ng LGBT ang biktima ng karahasan. Pero hindi git sa lahat ang mga babae ang kadalasan na biktima ng karahasan. Lahat tayo ay apektado ng COVID-19. Pero hindi ito sapat na dahilan upang saktan ng mga kababaihan at kabataan. Ang gender-based violence or GBV ay isa sa very common at widespread na human rights violation hindi lang sa ating bansa kundi sa buong mundo. Ito ay maaring physical, sexual, emotional o pinansyal. Sa physical, kapag ikaw ay sinampal o binugbog ng asawa mo. Pagdating sa sexual, kung ikaw ay narate at ikaw ay nahipuan. Pagdating sa emotional, kung nakita mo ang asawa mo na meron ng iba. Sa pinansyal, kung ikaw ay ang lahat ng pera mo ay tinatago, hindi ka pinapahawak at wala kang room for improvement sa sarili mo, hindi ka makakapag-aral. Ang dahilan ng GBB ay bababang pagtingin sa mga kababaihan at kabataan. Ito ay nagriresulta ng diskriminasyon. Mali ang pagtingin niya ito at dapat itong itama. Ilan sa mga maling paniniwala? Una, mga babae lamang ang dapat gumagawa ng tagawaing bahay. Pangalawa, ang lalaki lang daw ang pwedeng magdidesisyon. Minsan, ang mga lalaki din ay biktima ng GBB. Subalit, mas nararanasan ito ng mga batang lalaki. Ang GBB ay nagdudulot ng pagkatakot, pagkabalisa, at pakiramdam na hindi sila ligtas. Pero ang pinakamatinding epekto nito ay ang mababang pagtingin sa kanilang sarili at pagtanggap na sila ay sinasaktan. Ang GBB ay nangyayari din sa mga paralan, opisina, mga pampublikong at pribadong lugar. May magagawa tayo upang pigilan ang GBB at BAUSI. Huwag matakot mag-report. Tumawag sa God Hotline sa 0921-705-4170 at 0916-155-1030 o pwede rin kayong pumunta sa Barangay Women's and Children's Desk sa PNP Women's and Child Protection Desk. Lahat ng inyong report ay confidential. Sa atin dito sa PSO ay meron din tayong CODI at Grievance Committee kung saan Pwedeng i-report ang mga reklamo ng mga guro, estudyante at empleyado kung sila ay nakakaranas ng mga karasan. Ito po ay paalala lamang mula sa Gender and Development Office sa pangunguna ng ating mahal na Pangulo, Dr. Ramon M. Docto at God Director Jean Gabo. Marami pong salamat. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Mabuhay ang kababaihan. Here's more as we shall watch the 18-day campaign to end vow videos. Have a bird's eye view of the advocacy on the Safe Spaces Act and gender-based violence.
Magandang araw ang binungad sa akin ng mundo. Bagong araw ng pakikibaka at paglalakbay, bitbit ang pag-asa at pangarap. Hawak ang positibong pananaw, dalangin ng isang makabuluhang araw at makauwi ng maayos sa aming tahanan. Sa araw-araw na paglalakbay, sa lansangan, sa kali o sa daan, kay ingay-ingay na mga sasakyan sa pag-ugong at usin. Walang tigil sa paghuni ang mga makina, walang kumpay at hindi dumitigil. Sa bawat kanto, sa bawat kalsada, mapaabanida o maliit na iskinita. Patuloy din ang seksistang pagtingin at pagtrata sa akin. Kailangan mo ba talaga akong batiin ang... Hi Miss, good morning beautiful. Kasabay ng tingin na para bang ako'y hinuhubaran. Kailangan mo ba talaga akong sabihan ng... Hi, ang sexy mo naman Miss. Sabay ngisi at kindat na sapat upang ako'y kabahan. Kailangan mo ba talaga akong sipulan... Kahit tahimik lang akong dumaraan, ako, si Juana, si Fatima, si Maria, pati si Magdalena, araw-araw na nagtitiis sa ganitong uri ng sistema. Hindi ito musika sa aming mga tenga, hindi kami nagigiliw o naaaliw, hindi namin pinangarap ang ganitong lipunan dahil sa bawat bulong, sigaw at alingaungaw, ang tanging hiling namin ay pagkakataon na respeto ay mangibabaw. Binabalot na kami ng takot, may pangamba sa bawat galaw, naninimbang sa bawat espasyo sapagkat hindi ligtas at hindi sigurado. Tama na ang paghaplos at pagsulyap, tama na ang pagtitig at pagdantay na parang kami ay inyong pag-aari o laruan. Kailan ba magiging patas ang mundo? Ang sabi ng pabulong ngunit nagngangalit ang tinig ko. Kailan ba magiging malaya at matiwasay ang lipunan na ginagalawan ko? Sana bukas, sa muling pagbungad sa akin ng mundo, wala nang anumang uri ng pangaabuso. Chong 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 pasipol sipol mga manong sa labas pagtigil at gumalang kaya ikaw sa labibig hindi maganda ang lalabas Pare, ang catcalling ay isang uri ng sexual harassment. Di biro ang sexual harassment at di nakakamacho ang pang-aabuso. Kaya ikaw, sarabibig, hindi maganda ang lalabas Isang paalala mula sa Philippine Commission on Women Huwag mong titigan ang hindi sa'yo at maging disenteng tao. Pare, ang catcalling ay isang uri ng sexual harassment. Di biro ang sexual harassment at di nakakamacho ang pang-aabuso. Isang paalala mula sa Philippine Commission on Women. Game 1, 2, and... Paatuhon, balik at ulo, itapwetan, may wang at sus... Huwag mong titigan ang hindi sa'yo at maging disenteng tao. Pare, ang catcalling ay isang uri ng sexual harassment. Di biro ang sexual harassment at di nakakamacho ang pang-aabuso. Isang paalala mula sa Philippine Commission on Women. Together, let's advocate for violence against women. Hashtag avowfreeph. Hashtag Filipino Marespeto Hashtag Safe Spaces Kasali Tayo Mabuhay ang Palawan State University!